Good day, Reactor Records. I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. Episode 76 of TSL. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we got a little farther into the HK50 factory. In fact, look at that. And last time out, we I guess we started only about this way. Yeah, the workbench. We only got about to shoo -doo 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 -doo, and really only there. And now we've gotten the entire, basically the entire first level is kind of opened up for us. So, we've, uh, we ran into the reactor cores over here. We are right here. And last time out we tried shutting down the reactor core, but uh, the HK-50s remind us we functionally self-harm. Now we've deleted that, that little notification from our memory and turned off their microphones. And now we're going to turn off the reactor. Let's attempt to shut down the reactor. And success. Unnecessary statement. He has control of the reactor core to the base, and he is shutting it down. Irritated statement. I do not understand why you feel it necessary to make obvious statements. Order. Contact him and remind him that he will be harming us if he does so. Warning. Communications have been blocked. Concerned statement. He has gained access to the plant. That's good. I'm I'm waiting for this to like go dark. Order. Send out all HK50 units to stop him now. That's not good. Cuz I don't think we're ready for like a Oh wait a minute. We cannot open all security doors. I want to do that. Yeah, we're good. So you disabled the reactor, causing an emergency loss of power. You should now be able to open the doors to the manufacturing plant and permanently take care of those cheap coffees. I like you, sassy, uh... Sassy journal entry. So yeah, this is exactly what we want to do. Now, I am a little concerned if we start running to HK-50 droid. It's... Didn't take long. It's, it's not the running into one HK-50 droid that worries me. It's the running into three of them that worries me, right? Especially, well, we can... We've got energy collector. We've got repair kit. That helps. Guess it's a little bit. Wonder if we can... Put a frag mine down here. Crude, but effective. The idea is that we're gonna try and lure him in, but I don't know how well that's gonna work. So, we'll see. Smug statement. You cannot fire. Your archaic attack protocols are useless against us. Smug revelation. Your behavior core self-preservation programs prevent it. To kill us would be to kill yourself. Superior statement. This information may be difficult for your substandard core to process, but you cannot deny that your motivators have locked, and you cannot depress the firing stud of your weapon. <clears throat> statement. So, I cannot harm you. Statement. That is correct. Conclusion. And you cannot harm me. Irritated statement. That is what we said, obsolete unit. There must be a delay in your processors. Statement. Then that is all I need to know. Confused query. Where are you going? Ineffectual command. Stop! Ineffectual command. We command you to stop! Statement. You cannot stop me. You cannot harm me. In order to do that, I would need to end my self-preservation programming. Conclusion. I would need to stop being one of you. I have concluded that this is something I am willing to accept. Statement. You cannot change your own programming. Statement. But you said so yourself. You have just admitted your own weakness. Conclusion. You have just shown me your soft, meatbag-like underbellies and said, HK-47, please shoot me repeatedly there until I die. Statement. Even if you could, there is not time. Statement. We shall see. Query. Are you fully operational? 
statement. Your answer does not fill me with confidence. Are there any other functioning maintenance droids on this level that can perform the operation? Well, um, I was going to say, couldn't we just not deactivate the self-preservation thing and kind of go about our business without being shot at? I, I know stealth isn't an HK thing, droid thing, but come on. Statement. Very well, proceed. Carefully. As a meatbag would say, I have a bad feeling about this. Would everyone stop saying that? Statement. Assassination protocols activated. Smug statement. You cannot fire. Your archaic attack protocols are useless against us. Systems failing, master. Turns out that, um, yes, you can activate that, so. We're almost up to full health, alright. I'd say it'd be better off if we just shot him. Can you switch weapons? Is that. The droid one? If we can. If we hit him, we're doing good damage. The trick is we gotta hit him. The other trick is that. Standing in toe to toe is not a good idea. You can just. Get them to follow. Oh. I was gonna say, are we just gonna. Well, you know, maybe not. I was gonna say, we're just gonna stand back there and just kinda take pot shots at each other. Over range, but. Eh. More in repair. Feats. What feats do we want? Uh, double later, two weapons, one each hand, and uh, I don't know if this counts. That's the only thing. I don't know if a blaster rifle counts. Blaster rifles. Upgrade classes. Logic upgrades. I'm not going to use close combat or dual strike. Could just use the next precise shot. That works. So, all right. Let me just uh, lob a frag grenade in their general direction since they're not moving. There we go. That goaded them. So we're they're using that power blast effectively. I wonder if a switch would be uh, more effective. Let's see. That, that was actually a very good hit. That was about 88. It said, yeah. We can get that uh, construction kit. There we go. Advanced repair kit, thank you. Alright, now start shooting things again. Can't use, uh... Can't use first person... View. Can't use first person view right from here, so... There's one. Oops. Use the construction kit. I, I, yeah, I got that. Start using that, you idiot. And there we go. Energy collector. Just shooting haphazardly upwards. Waiting to see when that's going to run out of juice. Hasn't run out yet, but... There it goes, now it's run out of juice. We turn back on. Which is just fine because in the, it's
I think I like the uh, other one more. I think that might do a bit more damage. And just finish it off. There we go. It was a little chancy there at the end. Remains on one of them. Droid Assassin's Rifle. Ah, uh, probably more interesting over here. New supply HK-47. Unstoppable attack modifiers. Feet. Uh, it needs a little more punch if we're gonna if we're gonna use it though. Because okay, damage unstoppable. That's great. Hang on, let's go over here. But yeah, it's gonna need to do more damage. It's got a critical threat. It's got the tech modifier, which is good. So we can always you know move stuff off of like the repeating blaster rifle, for example. But it, it's it's uh, needs a lot more damage if we're gonna make use of it, right? So it might be it might be something we could look into. With the workbench. And we can take a take a gander. Sort of disassemble the uh disassemble the uh repeating blaster and work on it over here. So up uh bench to bench, droid assassin. So we've got ion charger, bonus damage versus droid, massive criticals and one to six energy. We've got broadening chamber. Eh. We got targeting. We we can build another scope if we need to. That's not a problem. Uh, so over here, repeating. We've got attack plus four. We've already got attack plus five built into the weapon, so we could use the scope for you know doing something else. Uh, uh we could or we could. Just add on there, we'll never miss another shot. And amplifying chamber mark two, which is plus four energy, and then a pure Ryleth power cell. So this was an eight to uh, thirty six. That includes that and that and that. Accuracy scope mark four. If we can just take all those off for a second. Let's go back over here and Accuracy scope plus four. Broadening chamber, which one was it? That one. It was the pure Ryleth. There's no ion bits on it. That's the only thing that concerns me slightly. I mean, it'll be close. I mean, that attack modifier, that's what's going to be... like all the, all the other crap that comes with it, that's the stuff that's going to make it a little better than the... Repeating blaster that that's that that's all it's this it's all this that's gonna Make it worth it relative to that so There isn't anything that we could get Great uh, ranged Like there's nothing that we could have that uh, we, we were good on all that It's not really that interesting Ilith. There was some. What amplifying chamber do I already have on there? Because if I have oh component costs, I don't even have enough components. I mean, I could break down stuff too. I mean, I suppose that's a thing. So I don't have um the repair skill required. Or no, is it repair? That's that's for this. No, I guess maybe it's that that influences your component cost. So. Um, now yeah, upgrade items, that one, oops, no, that one, amplifying chamber two, it was amplifying chamber, and this bounce back around, I, I wish I didn't have to go out and in and out and in, amplifying chamber three, which would be nicer, obviously, then we don't have enough components. Breakdown. View breakdown items. All right. So component value. Wow. I can break down one of these. Look at all this crap. Like gain silencer. Like a, can I, can I take tear down? Can I 
you tear down this then? Just one. Just one. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. That's fine. Uh, so we can create a range bro uh, amplifying. That was what we wanted because we had an amplify. It was the amplifying. I'm going to double check again because this is me we're talking about. No. Oh, crap. I wish it didn't kick me all the goddamn way out. That's the problem, right? Uh, upgrade. No, back. This does that doesn't amplifying chamber two, so we want the amplifying chamber three. And create. No, I think I just created an energy shield. Oh well. I mean, I can't use it right now, but it's amplifying three. Right? Okay. Create. Oh no! I just used half my components. Ah well. Now back in, an upgrade, uh, ranged droid assassin, amplifying chamber three, which is apparently a five plus five plus one. Whatever. More, more, more power. That's what we're looking for. Hopefully, this isn't a bad idea. I I'm thinking we got also equip it right. Because I'm thinking that, that attack modifier, that's what I think is if I'm, if I'm logicking it out in my head, more attack modifier is good, and with the entire attack modifier weapons, we seem to be doing better job of hitting, we're more accurate, so, therefore, more, more is a good thing. Hypothetically, anyway. Oh, and those security doors have opened on either side. Any, yeah, of course there's stuff here that we can get. In droid capacitor armor. You might want to take a look at that. And. Uh, a Cerusium rifle? Of course, after I do all these upgrades, then I get a new I get a new toy. Uh, it was capacitor. Just no, we don't have the fire immunity, but we have all this, plus the defense bonus. So I'm I'm liking. I'm liking the capacitor armor. That'll make us a lot more tanky. I could use some tankiness. I keep talking about the importance of tanks in this, right? And this was the this was the weird sounding one. A Xerzium. Energy three to twenty five. It's probably not as Yeah. I mean this is this could be viable, do not get me wrong. Can I make it as viable as this? I don't know. But we can always take a look. But it, it's, um... This could be incredibly viable here. Especially throw throw an Ion Kicker on. And... Attack Modifier, you get that, uh, the, the Mark IV, uh, scope on it, and... It becomes a, uh, and, and I guess the Ryleth thing, and that becomes a very viable option there. I'm not gonna go with that yet, but that is a very viable option for us to work with so let's see what's over here I assume there's more more um, oh I was expecting uh, more lockers but okay no yeah, that's fine no hey look what I found I found a quick save now this based on this and that looks decidedly like where our HK 50 friends had been hanging out earlier so, now the only thing I'm, I'm concerned about is if I go down, am I not getting up again? So it could make, you know, that decision to quick save. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm going to burn it again later. But, no, what I'm, I'm thinking is, yeah. Because if I don't have a workbench, then flipping over to the Xerzium thingamajig and... I'm, I'm sure I've already gotten a comment that says, Steve, well, the Xerzium is one of the better weapons in the game. I'm hoping that's followed by, but the way you built your assassin's rifle, it's still reasonably viable, so it's not a huge loss. It's a bit of a loss, but not a huge one. We'll give this a try, and it's, nothing's permanent on that uh, on on the the assassin's rifle, right? So it's it's okay. But I think what I might do is I might just do another, might do a full save right here, and let this slowly wind up over the course of about a month. And then uh, we'll uh, come back, and then we'll 
go down the hill. Okay, I'm at like 200 health. I give up. I've been waiting for about five minutes and I'm bored to tears. Just go. I should have known that was coming. Don't worry, I have a save right during that break, so I can always come back and extend it. I always go back through the door, I suppose. The nice thing is we've got uh, journal entry added. Okay, we'll get to that, don't worry. We are getting... We're doing considerably better now with the... Uh, with the uh, better armor. So that's important. I figured the armor was going to help. I mean, the problem is... So how are we doing? 21, 39... Ah, you bastard. He's preparing himself. 25, 31... 25, 29... Alright, there we go. 33... Alright, let's get a switch in. We'll see how this one does. 36, 81... 41... 42, okay. So this is actually, this is the assassin one. This is actually pretty good. 32. Yeah, no, that's actually pretty damn good now if I do say so myself. Okay, so maybe the assassin rifle was the right call. I think we might have missed a bit, though, if you look at that. Frag grenade. I have been using from time to time. Uh, I guess we're not using that. Didn't lose that much health, actually. Less than 80 points. Um, yeah, so the uh, the assassin rifle, not a bad call. If I do say so myself. And the uh, capacitor armor works a charm. So we came in. We were looking this way. So we want to go to the right, then. So you always go. I know it's left on the... On the map, but... We'll uh, try and puncture our way through. I was going to say, I think the, these guys hit almost as hard as the bloody HK-50 droids. That shouldn't be how it works. Oh. Speaking of which, apparently these guys have good hearing. Oh, Master Sniper Shot. We, we, how's that work? Ah, works treat. How's our master, uh... Oh no, just regular power blast. I wonder what the cooldown is on those, uh... And it's the attack, it's the attack modifier, that's... The, the gas... Gas... Trap, really? I'm a droid, I don't breathe! Come on. Yay, the old Rambo Footlocker, let's go! Let's see, hyper, and none of these help. The sound dampening overlay, Mark IV. I'm assuming that's just for sonic weapons. Because it just seems like... Oh, metal case, a random metal case somebody left lying on the floor. Construction kit and a security tunnel. We could always use those, if one remembers to use them, anyway. Because we haven't need to use that thing, because it's not like they're doing enough damage, right? The remains of the turret, we will do. A droid defense barrier. We'll try this one. Assume the same. Battle upgrade. I mean, I think I'm okay with what we've got at the moment, so I'm not too worried. Except for my hit points, but that's a... a different matter. Okay, apparently this guy... isn't going to sit and wait. So I think this HK-50 has the same or, or similar... Weaponry to me because of um, because he, it's shooting white bolts as are we. So I don't know enough about Star Wars weaponry to tell you what makes some blasters shoot some colors. What, what colors we see? White's not a typical one. We see we see a lot of red blasters. We see green. We see blue. That might have been one of the nicest things about the prequel trilogy was introducing blue blaster bolts. Which I know sounds weird, but I mean, it's just like, gives you a difference, you know, it gives you some variety in color as opposed to all being, all being, um, red bolts. 
And I think... I don't know if we're going to see, like, in Episode 9, if we're going to see a lot of ground-based... Uh, it seems like there's, like, a lot of, like, ground-based stuff. So I wonder if the Resistance are going to have... If everybody's going to be shooting, you know, those red-orange bolts. Or if we're going to just see, like, a... If we are going to see a, a difference in what is, uh, you know, a difference in the color of blaster bolts. Now, I want to go to the right, because this looks like a storage room. Lecturing statement. There will be incidents when you will need to extract information from an unwilling target. Um. Well, I, I, I could be wrong. It's not a storage closet. Apparently, it is a, a training room. You'd think they just have the programming in there, but hey, I'm not going to I'm I'm not going to turn down what might be an interesting scene, so let's watch. This unit here has been modified to serve as a diagnostic tool to test your interrogation functions. It is important to observe that impatient query. I was wondering when the interrogation begins. If you wish to skip directly to the torture, I am eager to comply. Command, do not interrupt me again. This is the third time you have begged for interrogation and torture. Sulking statement. I am merely eager to perform my duty, not stand here and listen to it being discussed. Irritated statement. Very well. First, you must evaluate the target, check his heartbeat and perspiration. Exclamation. I will tell you nothing. Electrocute me. Dismantle me as many times as you want. And I shall permit it. Irritated command. Stop. You are not following your victim protocols. Statement. But I am a willing victim. With many secrets that you must extract from me. Painfully. I beg you. Do not spare the hydro spanner or the fusion cutter. Statement. Hold on a moment. I must calibrate this one's victim protocols. Maybe disable the fetish protocols too while you're at it. Jeez, I, that was not something I was expecting. <laughs> okay, yeah, whatever works. All right. Initiate assassination protocols and destroy all units in the room. Sure. Um, should I start with a thermal detonator? Nah, it's a waste of a good thermal detonator. Poison grenade ain't gonna do shit. Last room again. Grenade, we got lots of those. Doesn't do a lot of damage now, does it? Oh, I might want to turn that on. Just, uh. I was gonna say, granted, that's probably gonna do a worse job of absorbing damage than the bloody armor will, won't it? It kind of makes me wonder if the shield also factors, like the damage absorbed by the shield must also include whatever's factored in for the armor, right? Because that's lasting a long time against those three of them, right? Because it would have, because it's lasting a lot longer than it has in the past. So I kind of wonder if it is in fact, there it goes. Cancel combat. Yeah, no, that's uh, one of those things you don't think of is, is it a calculating damage absorbed? Because it's, what, 80? Uh, energy collector. Oh, it's got five uses left. 80 points. So, yeah, can it damage, except 80 points of damage. But is it doing it based on the after the 75 energy is taken off that the armor does? Or is it doing it ahead of time? Well, it wouldn't do it ahead of time because this thing could probably do a lot. Those guys could do a lot of damage before the 75, so. Let me test this security measure. It isn't very good. That's to that security measure. And a life support pack. It's getting a little stingy on stuff for me. It's getting good at uh, giving me stuff for people that aren't here. The HK unit is deactivated. Oh, well. Yeah, it was, uh, fine. Oh, well, I guess we've got another, uh, we got another lesson room. Lecturing statement. This unit in the cage has had his behavior centers specifically modified so that it may be tortured and interrogated. 
Let the diagnostic protocols begin. Unconvincing statement. I... I beg you for mercy. Please. I beg you. I will tell you anything. Just let me live. Well, that was, um... Very unconvincing, as it is. Okay, so we've got more. they got a lot of training on interrogation and torture. Command. Hold. Why are you hesitating? Proud admission. I... I cannot beg for mercy in such a way that is convincing. It is against my programming. Lecturing statement. Let us begin again. Pained statement. I beg you for mercy. Please, I beg you. I will tell you anything. Just do not terminate me. No, please, stop shooting my photoreceptors, my motivators. <laughs> Lecturing statement. Excellent. Lecturing reminder. Organics will typically attempt to barter for their lives, either by one offering useless false information, Sickening lie. Spare me. I have information that could prove useful. Or two, promising credits or power. Shameful, really. But that is why they sweat, suffer, and die, and we do not. Desperate offer. I want to offer you credits and power in exchange for keeping me intact. Statement. Next, we shall turn our attention to the proper aspects of torture. Wait, it seems we have a new victim. Well, that's a relative term, because I don't think I'm going to be victimized so much as y'all. Oh, look at him one-handing that shit. I'm getting fancy here. Meanwhile, he's just hanging out. Oh! I can't say I was expecting... Everyone to join the party. That's it. Might want to turn that on then. I mean, yeah, like I said, the armor's good, but... The armor's good, but, uh... You know what? There's only, um... If there are six droids shooting at you, there's only so long that good armor will last. I don't want to, uh... Oh, I hit the wrong thing? I thought I hit that. I, I guess I hit the repair kit. Well, I mean, whatever works, right? Yeah, well. I mean, it's not like I couldn't have used the repair kit anyway, but... If we could just whittle these guys down. They are... It's not that they're doing a lot of damage, but it is like a death by a thousand cuts type thing. It's still, you know, it's still a thing, right? I do have some AoE I could take advantage of if I need. Well, probably not right now because I can take that one down fast. How are we doing on health? 88. Doing okay. We've got that one. We'll take down the last one. Hopefully we've got lots of upgrades and shit that we can pick up from them. We get a sniper shot in on him. That should finish him. Nope. That'll finish. This will finish him off. And can pick up some remains. A frag grenade. What have we got here? Ion blast, Mark II. Okay. Energy collector. Any deflector, Mark III. Oh, there's more doors. An anatomy library. I assume that's against for damage against organics. A frag grenade. And ion blast. Not exactly things I was looking for, but eh. are you talkative? Pleading statement. Please, I beg you, do not destroy me. Pleading statement. 
Please, I beg you, do not destroy me. Well, the good news is you're, uh... Game with that. You're, uh, begging Scott and better. Lecturing statement. And with your translators online, let us perform a routine diagnostic of your translation and protocol centers. Statement. Subject test, Ithorian. A weak, disgustingly pacifistic species that values vegetation and other non-sentient organics. Well, since we could probably use the time to heal up, let's uh, just observe. Seemingly unable or unwilling to perform even the most elementary cruelties, they will provide an excellent first test subject. Observe, then translate. I am overjoyed by the possibility of establishing trade relations with you and negotiating a treaty beneficial to your people. Test translation. Master, this one says his herd intends to overrun your economy and demands your surrender or he will wipe your planet out. Statement. Well done. Let us try another. Lecturing statement. This next one is a Twi'lek. Indigenous to the arid planet of Ryloth, generally weak, despite their sharp, predatory teeth. Pardon me, human female, but I noticed that you are extremely beautiful. Perhaps you would be interested in accompanying me on a stroll of the city. Test translation. Mistress, I believe this Twi'lek is interested in buying you. He asks you to follow him to his slave ship. Statement. Well done. Now, the next one is a Quarren, a slimy, untrustworthy species that shares the same vile planet as the dull and goggle-eyed Mon Calamari. Greetings, trusted ally. I am the diplomatic envoy of my people. We agree to your terms for the relinquishment of the second moon of Oxen as requested. Test translation. Master, this military envoy says he admits to spying on our military facilities, and he says that you will never take him alive. Statement. Well done. Let us... Excuse me. Are you here for your translator check? Uh, apparently not. It's a fun little exercise. I feel as though, now if you played the first game, um, I guess if you played the first game, I guess spoilers for that, but remember the, uh, the Tusked Village and ta Tatooine. I'm half convinced, still to this day, that HK was, that maybe there was a way to do it peacefully. I don't think I ever successfully did that, whether I wanted to or not. But I still think that HK was doing shit like this and just mistranslating for the sake of his own amusement and for the intention of getting lots of death and destruction happening in the Tuscan village. Not that I not that I minded, but I might want the uh Yeah, let's get that on. One 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 at a time here. Be, uh, be consistent with your focus. Yeah. You can just finish this guy off first. That would make things a lot easier. There we go. And this guy we've already dinged a bit. Probably, it's probably feel safer activating if we take down two and then probably won't need to activate it for the last one. I think we got lots of them lying around though. I'm not too concerned. Just out of curiosity. Um, how many uses do we have? One more use, alright. And then we've got seven more after that, so we got like 71 uses of energy collector left. If we need it. Which would be good. I'm hoping we find some more upgrades as we go along, right? Oh, you're getting, you're getting, uh, sniper again. Systems failing, master. Frag grenade. Oh, you've got remains. Android Sepub. On Earth is that would be under here. So we've got the Sirs. We've got the which is the rapid shot. Which is oh, power blast. Ah. Oh yeah, this has the attack modifier on it as well. Be nice if it motion tracker, defense bonus, awareness and demolition. It might not be a bad one. Attack modifier plus two versus droid and scales plus four repair, which might not be a bad thing. 
Especially when we, uh, if we start adding on the rapid shot. Be a bad idea. Warfare upgrade again, not a bad idea. Attack modifier, yeah, a lot of this stuff. Like a lot of these battle not warfare upgrades might not be such a bad thing if we had the um if we had the uh, rapid shot as well. Ah, let's try that for a bit. And then we can always go back later. Oh, large locker. That's what I'm looking for as well. Nichani dueling shield. Again, things I don't need or make use of. I mean, it's, it's good. It's equipping me for for whatever's next, but at the same time, it's like, eh, come on. Help a brother out. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Um, I interrupting something. Does he have, oh, yeah, we don't have any... Um, yeah, we don't have any uh, power blast that, or uh, rapid shot at this point. That's mildly annoying. We can always mix it up as required. Security terminal. Now well, we haven't you gone to a security terminal yet, so let's access the camera. Torture training. Interrogation training. Translation training. Dang. I don't want the area schematics. That's too many spikes. I'll live without. Realizing yes, I could probably use a workbench to to get those spikes, right? You can build spikes for components, sonic disruptor chemicals, and a construction kit, that's good. Let me test this security measure. A lot of security measure for 70 bucks, but hey. Maybe somebody was really concerned about keeping their money safe. All right, so we've gone around in a circle, which is fine because that means we've explored the whole thing. And then, there's something through this door. Oh, it's just another door down. All right, what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to call it here. And we'll come back next time. And next time, we'll just carry on through the factory, down the hill, deeper into the factory. And maybe next time, we will finish up. This one, this time... Went a lot better in the last two that we were here, or I guess blessed one and a half. So yeah, all, all these all these upgrades are, are, are coming together, so that's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. And hopefully get a workbench soon, and hopefully we can kind of pull this all together in the end. But uh, I was going to say just one last, because uh, this would have been, so we'll need 23 to get to the next one, and 20, so we probably have like another... Two uh, two upgrades on top of this one, so yeah, we're probably got, we're probably gonna yeah we've probably got another yeah so three levels up, including this one. This is where I think we're at right now. So this HK's got there. I know who's that? It's, oh, that was Kray's spot, wasn't it? And say poor, relatively neutral, Beoder. And say everyone else is that's a mean face. And everyone else is very much dark side. I like that. Except for Beodur. Too good for this world. But anyway. And I think that's gonna... That's where we're gonna call it for this time on KOTOR 2. Next time. Maybe we finish it up. Maybe we don't. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I don't mind. I'm... I'm <laughs> this, uh, the, all the little scenes along the way are kind of funny. So I, I kind of like this one. This is a good one. A lot, of nice, a lot of nice chatting and shit talking, so that, that makes for a... It's kind of exactly what you want for an HK episode, isn't it? I know he's an assassin droid, but he's a sassy assa He's a assassin droid. Sorry, I was just saying... Sassy assassin droid says, assassin droid. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Let's just pretend that never happened and wrap it up. Alright, so that's it for this episode of... Code do, but until we see you again, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. Social media handle is unsilent on air. And that's for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. 
And don't forget, we've got more KOTOR 2 in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. And more videos anytime on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.